In this video we're going to be covering a basic conversion of the AVR ADC and MCC Melody and we'll be using IOView and printf to verify the results. So this is the basic conversion with printf in the MCC Melody API reference for AVR. Check the API reference for the latest versions of the code. Once we get the code working, we'll use IOView to check that we're getting expected ADC results and then use the data visualizer to stream the results on a terminal using printf. So I happen to have an AVR128 DB48, but uh, this same instruction should work with any of the AVRs in MCC Melody. So I'll find an ADC, add it to my project. You can see it brings in two components, an ADC and a VREF, and I'm going to click on the question mark to open the ADC reference. I'm going to be going through the basic conversion with printf, but let's check the general ADC use case code snippet instructions first. So for new users, it's recommended to start with the timer counter A, UART and data streamer, since these components are used to support the use cases. And in this use case, you can see we start by adding an ADC and a UART. We've already added the ADC, so now we'll just add a UART for the printf. So with the clock settings or the ADC, the ADC clock should be below two megahertz. We can find this out by checking the electrical characteristics and seeing that the minimum clock period is 500 microseconds or two megahertz. Left adjust, we don't want that. Left adjust is great if you want to use the ADC result high byte as an 8-bit ADC result. So along with the ADC, we can see that we get something called a VREF, voltage reference. And this is a general voltage reference, which is shared between a few peripherals. So you can see that this enable force for the DAC and, and for the ADC. Note for some AVRs in Melody, you might have the voltage reference configurable as a hardware setting in the ADC. So I happen to be using a POT3 click and there is a surface mount resistor which selects a voltage reference. So the two volts, which is what is mounted on my board, gives us a maximum output voltage of 2.048 volts. For now, we'll leave the reference as VDD when we run the project, we'll look at the impact of reference voltage selection on our max ADC value. So, onto the UART. Basically, we select the UART, which is connected to the serial CDC port. So, we'll reference the board schematics, kit window schematics of whatever board you happen to be using. And we can see that that UART is UART 3 and it's PB0 and 1. We want to redirect printf to UART and PB0 and 1 is what we have by default. Looking at the rest of the pins, for all pins we're going to check the board schematics the first is a analog input. So we have the option of selecting an analog input, but we typically use that with the get conversion API where maybe we're running the ADC in free running mode continuously rather than starting conversions on a specific channel. The board I'm using is a Curiosity Nano base for clicks. So if I look at the appendix here, Curiosity Nano Base for Clicks. Now I happen to have a potentiometer connected to the first microbus slot, and you can see that the analog pin here is PD4, and PD4 is connected to the analog input pin 4. So, port D4, that will be 
our analog input. The other thing to check is under pins. Now for our analog input we want to disable the digital input buffer. We check the transmit pin already. Our LED pin is PB3. PB3. So we just call that LED. So after configuring we click generate to generate code and add the code snippets to our application. For now we put the include delay on our clipboard, then click generate, go back to our project and open main. The next code snippet is basically the int main, which we paste back over our empty main. So it just so happens that that analog input 4 is what our code snippet here needs. However, to change this value, you'd control click on it and select the appropriate analog input that your application would be using. We can set a breakpoint on our IDC result, open IO view, start a debug session. run, find our ADC, find the result register. You can see we have a value. Move the potentiometer to the extreme, run again. 2527, which is close to what we'd expect with a 2 volt out of 3.3. .3. So we're going to go to our VREF and change the reference to 2.048. Generate code. Debug the main project. Note we don't have to stop the debug session in order to reprogram the board. We hit our breakpoint again. Run. And now we have 4095 as our max ADC value. Now let's plot this on the data visualizer. So we'll uncheck our breakpoint, open the data visualizer, note our UART was 96, the default from our COM port is also 96 on the data visualizer. We'll displays text in the terminal, run our application, give ourselves a little bit more space. And our application is running as expected.